So Nathan, uh, it feels very much deja vu from uh, what, what we're saying is actually a week ago, and it's Shirley Bridger, Harrison Beedy, 90th minute winner. Yeah, the kid, the kid's got a striker's instinct. Um, it's, listen, it's a, it's a great three points if ever you're going to score, and it's, it's at the end of the game basically. Um, there was only a couple of minutes left, and it doesn't give them a chance to get back into it. How I thought, you know, I thought they were strong in the second half, especially on the counter attack in transition, causing some issues. Um, some good goalkeeping by Shane. Harrison uh, blocking one on the line. Uh, we've stayed in the game, uh, but another clean sheet. Most welcome three points. Yeah, in that first half in particular, it seemed uh, very even. Uh, chances at a premium for both sides. Yeah, it's we we get that here. It's you know it was a game of midfield battle really. Um, no real clean, nice passing. Um, you know the, the pitch cut up a little bit, but it then becomes a battle, and you've you've got to change your game a little bit. And it was a very different game to what it was on Tuesday. And, you know, I think it was a bit nip and tuck. I don't think you know anyone was really on top in the first half, and, and no one really looked like scoring. So you go at nil nil, and you know from our lads, it's it's more of the same. But can we do a little bit more in the top end in the final third? And you know we we didn't really do that, but we got an opportunity, and it only takes a second to score, and we've done that. Yeah, and in that second half, as you mentioned, uh, Ryland's really uh, started to show some intent, um, attacking wise, yeah. um, some talented players up there as well, that uh, did cause some problems. But as you say, uh, Shane Bland and uh, Harrison as well when he was uh, called up on equal Yeah, they're, they're a good team. I think you know the two wide lads they've got, even the, the new lad they've just signed, Torre, used his body really well against Dan. It was a good battle, good tussle, um, but their outlet was always out wide and. You know they had a lot of belief in that, and there was a number of times they were getting us, they were dueling one on ones. But I think all in all, by the two chances, my keeper's there to save them. So fair play to Shane and, and Aris Nasw well, blocked one on the line. But apart from that, we've defended them really well. So you know it's it's a most welcome clean sheet. Yeah, and uh, in terms of attacking players, um, Kelly in my in particular is a player a lot of people in the league uh, raving about it on loan from Salford, and it was he one that you identified before the matches at a real yeah. danger match. Yeah, yeah, he's an outstanding player. He's a good player. He's a bright player. I mean, he's a young professional footballer. Um, but you know, on, on, when we're on the pitch, it, it, when it gets heavy, it takes a lot of mental strength to get through the game as well. And you know, he had a good tussle with Colby, he had a tussle with um, Priestley on the other side. But I think we contained him really, really well. But listen, you know, bones about it. There's, there's a, there's a very, very good player in there. Yeah, and uh, I was mentioning about you know the. Getting that late winner, and again, it just shows that the grit and determination. I think this Whitby side have uh, really started to show the last few weeks, in particular. Yeah, togetherness and that never, never say die attitude. Um, looking to get the win. Like I say, we've we've put our two centre backs in the box to to try and get something from the game. You know, a draw would have been a you know probably a fair result. Um, but yeah, we've all in, all intents and purpose, we've we've gone to win the game, and Harrison popping up again. It just like I say, it, it's great for us. Yeah, and in terms of the personnel as well, um, a couple of changes late on um, Connor Simpson coming on more for a, a focal presence up there. And uh, unlike on uh, Tuesday night, it wasn't really a game that the likes of Brad Fusa could sort of get into. I suppose. No, no. He, listen, he, he tried his best, and you know there's some nice touches in there. But ultimately, you know, Brad in an ideal world wants he needs a nice pitch to be slid through. Um, but that wasn't really going to happen. So he then said, Brad, just just go and do what you can. Uh, but as it was, I think Danny Roan all the set pieces had an aerial dominance. They really struggled with him. Um, and I thought last kind of 25 minutes half an hour we'll put the big lad up there, Connor, uh, just to occupy them. I think he done that, um, and ultimately that led to the goal as well. So it's a good change. Yeah. And a few months ago, I don't know if I would uh, ever thought we'd be standing here after three wins on the spin as well, and uh, again showing that real sign of consistency now we have uh, far up the last five. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's, it's four wins in five games. It's, it's February, isn't it? We always said February was going to be an important month with eight games. The uh, the return so far is very very good, uh, but it's not over yet. We've got a, another game on Tuesday. It's relentless uh, against Ashton, who were obviously close to us in the league. Um, but, you know, it might sound boring, but the the message is: can we can we go get a fourth win now? So we've got a bit of momentum. There's a lot of confidence in the changing room. You can see that on the pitch as well. We're all together. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to Tuesday. Yeah, and that game against Ashton, um, we saw how tight it was. A worldie from a priest down at Hurst Cross earlier in yeah. the season, and I'm sure you expect another tight game again. Very yeah, well they're all tight games as you know. It's it's very rare, you know, we'll win by more than a goal, which is the case today. But Ashton have um, obviously in charge is Steve Cunningham now. Obviously Clegg is in charge of Warrington today, the previous manager. So it'll be a very different game. Um, the more of a football inside at the moment, I think um, he's brought new players in on loan from the from the league guys. So we're in for a tough test. Um, but like I say, they're all tough tests, and and no one really fears us. Um, the good thing is. 
a team who've been operating, you know, around about the bottom of the table for pretty much most of the season. We've got an outstanding defensive record, and that's shining through at the moment. And and that's the reason we're winning games because we're we're keeping the ball out, and we, you know, we're winning games by the solitary goal. So we look forward to Tuesday, and hopefully, you know, there's a good crowd there again, um, and can spur us on to uh, hopefully, you know, a positive result.